Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Cricut project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take my free um, SVG files for Easter that I just put out, I'll link to those down below, and make these two adorable Easter signs with your Cricut Maker. You can use an Explorer too though, or Joy, really. Um, either way, there's several different SVG files to choose from if you don't like these. But these were my two favorite, especially because I really wanted to put little felt flowers on the bunnies as tails. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make these. These are um, vinyl <laughs> and infusible ink on metal aluminum sheets. Um, you have to use infusible ink compatible blanks when you do infusible ink. So this one is a Cricut infusible ink sheet. Um, the aluminum can transfer the infusible ink. This, however, is just a blank from Michaels. You can use any kind of vinyl on it, not a problem. You can't put infusible ink on it. So just the difference in the blanks there. We're gonna go ahead and get started. If you want to see the full supply list, it will be down below. Let's jump in. Okay, y'all, voiceover Betsy here. We're gonna get started with the infusible ink project out my Cricut cart that way I don't have to move my machine and this is our infusible ink sheet remember it is actual ink so you always want to use clean dry hands load it into your machine this is where we're going to cut out that offset path that we cut out designed in Cricut design space and it is going to be mirrored so that it cuts perfectly on our infusible ink sheet and since it's just an offset path it cuts pretty darn quick <laughs> perfect all right so now we're going to load the actual vinyl and this is gonna take a minute longer because it's all of our words and all those little loops and swirls this is our actual SVG that we uploaded into design space so let's go ahead and just watch the Cricut work I swear no matter how many projects I make I always love to watch it cut All these little loops definitely do take a minute. This is sped up like 8 million percent, but it's still fun to watch. And in reality, it's still under five minutes to cut. So, you know, not too long. All right, so when it's done, we'll go ahead and we will take it out and then we will move over to the work desk. Perfect. So we're going to start with our infusible ink sheet. So make sure your hands are clean and dry. And we're going to weed the design, which in this case basically means we need to actually just take the outer edge around our design. So I'm going to use my little weeding tool just to kind of get under the edge here. You don't really want to use a weeding tool on infusible ink because it can tear the design like it did there, which was intentional, but you don't want to do it unintentionally. So just use your fingers. As you can see, it's a thick material and it comes up really easily, even with more intricate designs. We're just going to go all the way around and take that off. So this is our offset path and this is basically what an offset path does is it just makes an outline, a big bubble so that you can put a different design on top of it or you can make a sticker. In this case, I needed a backdrop for all my pretty words. So now we're going to line that up and if you've put your um, design on properly, the grid system will help you to line it up perfect i didn't like how the first one was so i turned it over and i'm going to use the grid at the top of the design a little straighter and then smooth it out make sure when you're using these infusible ink blanks though you'll take it out of the package and you'll notice that one side the side we're working on is silver the other side is gold both of those sides are just a film. So you want to take the film off of the silver side. The silver side is compatible with infusible ink. The gold side is not. 
So once you've actually taken off that film, smoothed your piece on with the brayer here, you can take the gold film off of the back before you heat it up. I'm just gonna make sure it's all smooth and then we're gonna use some of that heat resistant washi tape to hold down the carrier sheet on the edges. Infusible ink needs to be like super still, doesn't budge an inch when you heat it up. So the washi tape just helps hold it in place. Just has to be heat resistant. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna grab our cutting mat, not our cutting mat, our <laughs> easy press mat. And we're going to actually get this baby set up. All right, so we're gonna set it in the middle here. You do wanna put a protective sheet over it if it's anything that will bleed ink, but this isn't. And as you can see, we have it set to 385 and 40 seconds. We'll hit that green. You don't need to put pressure on it. You really wanna put it straight down on your piece turn it on and then when it's done lift it straight up you really don't want any extra movement on that infusible ink and now that metal's hot so like you see I just push it to the side and we'll come back to that after we weed our vinyl so now we're going to go ahead and weed the vinyl this is going to take a minute longer than the infusible ink because of all those intricate designs so I'm going to speed it up for you but basically, I'm just going to go in with my weeding tool. I'm going to lift all the negative, negative spaces, anything that's not part of the actual design. And I really am careful with this particular design to make sure I'm holding down those little tiny swirls, the little tiny tails, anything that's not a super thick line. Hold it down with your finger. Hold it down with the weeding tool while you're pulling that excess vinyl away. Otherwise, it can get stuck, it can get ripped, it can come off. It doesn't always, but it does enough times that it's just easier to hold it down and be really careful with those little tails because they're the prettiest parts. You don't want them to come off when you're weeding. Perfect. So just keep going until you have everything done. When you get to the inside of the little loops, I like to put my weeding tool right in the middle, kind of pierce the vinyl and then wiggle it around. Maybe that's not how you're supposed to do it, but I find it comes off super easy that way and you can peel it up. Perfect. Start to see all those little areas and the loops come to life. That's always really fun. And I always just like to cut away the vinyl once I've pulled it up, the excess pieces, because I'm a little uncoordinated and I tend to accidentally let it stick itself to the pieces I need to keep. So if I cut it away, then it just doesn't get in my way. All right, almost done. Perfect. So now we're gonna grab some transfer tape and I'm just measuring here to make sure I cut it to the right size. Once I've measured it, then I'll cut it up. Perfect. And now I find it easiest to take a little bit of the transfer tape on the side and to line it up and make sure it's smooth. So I'm just gonna line it up. See, it's not quite laying flat, so peeled it back up and I'm gonna smooth it down all along that one side. Perfect. Then I'll grab my scraper and I can lay it flat all the way across the piece. That way it's smooth over all those little loops and swirls and pieces that you don't want it to get messed up or break. All right, so I'm just pulling the back of the carrier sheet as I lay the transfer tape down and smoothing it as I go. Perfect. Now I'm gonna use that same scraper and I'm going to really push down and just make sure that the transfer tape is 100% stuck to all the pieces, all the swirls, all the letters, all of it across the whole piece. And of course, if you don't get it perfect as you peel the transfer tape up, you can always, you know, re-push it down. But 
With these pieces, the transfer tape typically pulls up really easy, so I find it's best just to push it all down at once. All right, one last push right over those swirls, and then we're gonna flip it over, and instead of pulling the transfer tape, I'm going to pull the carrier sheet away from the transfer tape. I find that works best. Perfect. Now our infusible ink sheet should be cool enough. We can pull off that carrier sheet and it looks perfect. I love this design. It's so Eastery. I don't know why, because it's really not anything to do with Easter. It's from the mermaid pack. I just thought the design looked Eastery. All right, so I'm going to use the side grid. I'm going to line it up. And then I'm going to lay it flat across the entire piece the same way I did when I was doing the transfer tape. Use my little scraper. I love this extra large scraper. I love my brayer too. The brayer is definitely number one, but with some of these pieces, I like my scraper too. All right, push it down all the way across. Smooth, smooth, smooth. And now the magic happens. And see, you could have done this without that offset path and fusible ink layer behind the vinyl. The vinyl pieces by themselves are, are very pretty, but I just think, especially with the arrow and the this way cutout, that infusible ink sheet behind it just really gives it a little bit of pattern, a little bit of pop. To me, it just makes the piece. Pulling all that transfer sheet off. You're more talented than I, you can get it all in one piece, but this one did not want to cooperate, so it's fine. We'll just pull it in pieces. And there we have it. This baby is done. I'm gonna put it on my large sign with a bit of double stick tape and it will be finished. Close up at some of those details. I love how it turned out. All right, guys, that was pretty quick and easy. Now, if you haven't made felt flowers before, I have a whole tutorial on that. I'll link it down below, but I've made these. I've made a bunch that I just keep ready to go because I like to add them to all kinds of projects. So if you liked this project, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notifications. I try to put out two videos a week, either resin, Cricut, or home decor projects. And especially now that we have my brand new house, I've been doing lots more home decor, big DIY projects. So if you like those, follow along. I'll see you next week. Bye y'all.